You know, I think one of the most important realizations that I've had just in terms of improving as a player in League of Legends is when you realize that there's there's actually only one consistent factor that you can change and control from game to game. And that factor is yourself. You know, so the best general attitude to have in League of Legends is probably not, you know, to be like a little kid and go, solo queue is pure luck, fuck this shit. And I'm not saying that I'm like a saint and that I've never done that or anything. What I'm saying is that I've been there and I've done that many, many times. You know, I have I know what it feels like to get fucked in solo queue. You know, it happens. It happens all the time. It happens to everyone. But I'm also here to say that that experience is something that I've learned from and it's something that you can learn from. Because if you end up realizing that you can't actually change your teammates, you can't change your luck, all that stuff is just random, then that realization is going to it's going to want to make you change yourself and that's what you need to do if you want to climb in solo queue if you want to climb the ladder if you want to reach your goals you got to you got to change the one thing that actually has an impact consistently and that's you and this goes just not for your gameplay of course but also your attitude you know anything that has an impact on the game and um you know, back to the point about it, it not really being your job to educate your teammates. If you, if you spend times, if you spend games and, and you waste your time and your energy trying to educate your teammates, you're going to get, you know, shitty, a shitty response. People are going to slap you in the face. They're going to start raging. If you, t if you say anything, even if it's constructive or if it's neutral, you know, whatever it is, as long as it's not good job, well played, or my bad, there's a chance that one, at least one teammate, is going to start raging or arguing with you for no reason. So, you know, this, this realization is very powerful when you want to, if you want to climb, because it really is your job to change yourself and to get, to get better at the game and to change your attitude. It's not your job to change your teammates. Also, another thing to take into account is that people can't hear you when you type. They can't hear anything. There's no voice. So, you know, sometimes people just see a, a line of text that is intended to be positive or neutral from your perspective, and then they read it, and they go, holy fuck, why is this guy flaming me? And of course that's going to be distracting, and of course it's going to make your teammates play worse. So... There's just a whole bunch of reasons why uh, why you don't want to start arguing with people, why you don't want to try to convince people that they should or should not have done this or that, you know? Because most of the time, people are not going to accept it. And at the end of the day, theoretically, the 1 out of 20 or 1 out of 30 times that they actually do accept it, and they go, oh yeah, this guy's actually right, I should have done this differently, even when they finally do that, it's like, what do you even gain from that as a player? Do you become a better player from that? Do you, you know, get to wherever you want to get to in solo queue because you corrected someone else's mistake? No, of course, of course not. So, the I would say the best general attitude to have in League of Legends is you gotta stop blaming your teammates and you gotta start wanting to change yourself. If you want to change where you are right now, in the latter, you got to change yourself. That's the only way to do it. There's no magic pill. There's no way around it. And the great thing about this whole uh, this whole realization is that it makes it easier, actually, for you to stop blaming your, blaming your teammates. I mean, yeah, they'll make mistakes, but it doesn't matter because what matters is you and your own mistakes, and you know that. And when you have that knowledge, it's so much easier to be calm and collected. It's also e easier to start criticizing yourself, and like I said, that counts for both attitude and gameplay. So, if you want to have uh, consistent success in solo queue, you got to be consistent. Not your team, not the system, not, you know, anything else. You.